fight coming up. Is this the one that's going to put you into a title shot later this year? Yeah, for sure. She's just the uh, Caitlin's just uh, lost to Jessica I, who's now fighting for the uh, title shot. So I think so, and you know, I just need to win and see what happens from then. But I'm pretty confident that it's going to happen. Being here back in the UK, sets the atmosphere in the arena. Is there a little part of you that's a bit disappointed that you're not happy to be there? Yeah, I wish I was there because like I'm more nervous sitting here watching. Like I just I just saw the first, the last two fights and I'm like sitting nervous, like shaking and stuff, thinking about all the emotions you go through. But uh, I'm sure if I was fighting, I wouldn't be feeling as much. So yeah, definitely wish I was fighting for sure. Jojo, you, you talked about uh, the fact that it was you were taking some time to build up. Uh, on your body to get the fly away. Obviously we've seen you competing there very successfully already. But do you feel like you've, you've even built more into the kind of fly weight physique as you spend more time in the weight class? Yeah, for sure. I feel like my straw weight body was like, I'm um, not very good. Uh, I was like kind of skinny lean, so it wasn't good. So I feel like now in each camp, it's getting better and better. I can see changes in my body, so I know it's not going to be. Obviously, I wanted it to be the first camp. I wanted to be like, oh, she actually looks like a fighter, but it's taken like, t uh, well, I've still not got the body that I want, so maybe next camp, but I know it's going to take some time. Jojo, it wasn't directed at you, but what was it like being on stage yesterday with all the fans doing a fan, and what was it like being up there? Uh, really nerve-wracking <laughs> so many people and like I'm not a very confident or a uh, good talker I would say I'm really shy and uh, but I'm glad that Ben was taking the slack because I would have been like oh my god crying like calling my mom like back up please come up <laughs> uh, yeah so it was great experience uh, I know it's part of the job but I just don't feel like I'm ever going to be good at it or uh, can I feel my rhythm up there? <laughs> You've definitely got a lot more confident though, it's not fair to say, if you know, dealing with the media, dealing with the fans, I've sort of, well that's the way I feel over the last sort of year, you know what I mean? Well thank you for that, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely got easier over time, especially now I feel like I'm confident in my abilities and my uh, like where I am right now with my career. So uh, mentally I'm very good right now and I feel like that's just, the confidence is coming with that, with being uh, in the perfect like mental shape and physical shape of my career. Is that perhaps the biggest change? Because you were always a dynamic striker, you were always really good on your feet. Is it a case that the mental needed to catch up with the physical and you feel that it has? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I didn't, I wasn't honest with myself back then, you know. I was just kind of winging it and going with the flow. And for a professional athlete, you shouldn't be doing that, you know. You need all the help you can get and you need to invest in yourself, your body and, and in your mind. Because at the end of the day, that's the tool you're taking in with you. How do you see your partner now? I see it being... A very awkward fight. I know she's an awkward fighter. Uh, she likes to, oh yeah, and a noisy one because like when she <laughs> she fights, she's always like ish ish ish. So I feel like I have to be better at that and uh, maybe go in with a mic or something. But uh, yeah, I just see it being a really. I'm going to bite down my gum shield and go after it and uh, yeah, and just go in there see what she's got. I, I keep saying I've got Valentina, uh, Jessica's a good fighter, but I just feel like Valentina is uh, above her in that. Uh, she'll bring a good fight, but yeah, I definitely see Valentina bring the win away with it. right there up at the top she's ranked number three right now so if i beat her then uh, for sure I'll, I'll be next if not i'll just fight the next one and just keep going going and going and going
we'll see the uh, prepared for five round fight in case uh, one of the uh, championship fighters goes out. Yes, for sure. It's on the same card, so it's a no-brainer. I'm going to be ready for. I'm already in my mind. I want to be fit for five rounds anyway because I know that there's going to be a lot of running after Caitlin. So, yeah, I'm going to be uh, ready for a five-round fight. Would it be your preference, even though there's a potential that you could end up stepping up and fighting for the title, if things go a little bit of ride during fight week? Would you prefer though to have a bit more of a run-up for such an important fight? you know, such a dangerous world champion, especially Valentina in the same time. No, like that opportunity, like if that comes knocking, I'm going to fucking keep that door down and go straight in there. Uh, I have confidence in my team that they would come up with a plan, clip your fingers and I'd be ready to go.